Four decades ago, on a long-haul flight, the economist Thomas Schelling was doodling with a pen and paper and thinking about the problem of racial segregation. When he got home, he picked up a chessboard to continue his investigations. And you can do the same thing. Simply lay out alternating black and white counters, or um, brown and white eggs. Remove any 20 and add five just to mix things up a bit. The board now represents a mixed neighborhood. Now these brown eggs aren't extreme racists. They're happy to live in a mixed neighborhood, but they don't want their white neighbors to outnumber their brown neighbors more than two to one. The white eggs feel exactly the same way, so take any egg that is outnumbered more than two to one and move it to the nearest acceptable location. As you do this, you'll find something astonishing happen. The brown eggs and the white eggs will separate out like oil and vinegar. Even a mild preference for the colour of your neighbour can lead to extreme segregation. Thomas Schelling's chessboard experiments became famous and Schelling himself eventually won the Nobel Prize. For me, the experiments are about more than racial segregation. They show how, although we as individuals may be rational and we may be tolerant, the society that we produce together may be neither rational nor tolerant. That's why the message of the logic of life is sometimes so surprising. Yes, the world we live in is sometimes irrational, but we aren't.